off of me. Get off. <laughs> she knows she loves it. She just acts like it. Anyway. So, this, this beautiful little place right here <laughs> turned into the freaking Hulk. Okay, so all of this was when we were crossing the border. Best traveling advice is always book the flight when it's the baby's bedtime. Levantala. There you go. Go. Take your bag. There you go. Good job. You ready to go? Okay, let's go. Watch your difference when you find the carpet. Here. Aquí. Ven. She's like, geez, Grandpa, you can't push them? I got it. Don't even worry. <laughs> but Grandpa's getting old. He can't help you anymore. <laughs> That's the border right there? Yeah. Damn. What's the border back there?
got like layers and then down there there's like more barbed wire it's crazy how it just separates us from one side to the other and crazy how much poverty there is on this side and yet this is how they live you've got people like trying to sell things to make a living and here we are. I'm just oh, I have a really hard time being out here in either in Mexico or Mexicali is where we are now. Um, because I'm always trying to give, but it's hard. And Vivi has a valid point that if you help one, all of a sudden you've got a bunch of people coming up to you because you know that you give them money. Um, but I really struggle with that because I want to help everybody and I can't. It's just, it's hard. Buddy. How was your first border crossing experience in car? Yeah, look at your hair. I feel it. I understand. You tired? Yeah? Such a tough time, huh? What? So we just crossed the border. Two freaking hours to cross the border. And then well, I'm going in a lane that's short and they just stop us. Then they close the fucking lane without even acknowledging that anybody else is behind. Get off of me. Get off. <laughs> she knows she looks good. She just acts like it. Anyways. So this, <laughs> this beautiful little place right here. Turned into the freaking Hulk. Okay, so all of this was when we were crossing the border. It legit took us two hours to go maybe a mile. Okay, tops a mile. Maybe a mile and a half. Mm, I think so. You, oh, oh, excuse me. It took me to cross the border because I was the one driving. Because where were you, babe? I was asleep. Hmm. I, I guess my that. two kids were asleep because Liam was asleep too. <laughs> okay, whatever. Okay, I give you some credit for, for driving. But She's glad I didn't just drop her off on a corner. Hold on a second. You act like you're seriously like una angelita, like you're an angel. You turned into the fucking Hulk. 
Well, okay. I mean, could you blame me? Two hours in a car. I was watching Netflix. I was all cool. I was like, cool, whatever. We're just moving an inch at a time. Whatever. I got Netflix. And then it gave out. <laughs> 30 minutes left from the border to our car. We had 30 minutes right there and it gave out. That was the most frustrating 30 minutes that we had all trip. Yeah. But there's another side. So I know she was angry. But on the flip side of that, being so close to the border was actually sad. It really made me sad. Mm. Because, like, you just see the... I mean, there's this little girl. Like, she must have been, like, five or something. Six at most. And, like, selling chicles. Gum. And I'm like, oh, my God. I just, like, wanted to take her with me. But I'm sure. She <laughs> She um, wanted to smuggle a child from Mexico into oh the God, United I States. Give you a better life over here. I would have left her. I would have left her. It would have just been, oh, do you want your pa- do you have your passports? Yes, it's just me and Liam. Here you go, sir. I've been like, there's a, a bulto. There's, I, I don't know. I would have put her in the trunk or something. I don't know if I could have. But anyways, it was really sad. That's why I locked her windows because <laughs> if it was up to no, her, she would have given away I all our did money. My, I did my one good deed. So there is this dad, and he was playing the drums, and his, no, he was playing what? The trumpet? Uh, what was he playing? He was playing an instrument. Some his little boy was playing the drums. Yeah, and so it was really sad, and I gave him my five bucks, which is like nothing to us. Your five bucks? It was my five bucks. I had five bucks. Did you? Did I? Did you really? Because it came from my wallet. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> no, it didn't. Yes, it did. It did? You oh, said, it did. babe, that's give right. him money. Because, okay, that's right. Because I had $5, but it wasn't with me. So that's right. I guess you did. Okay, her money. Whatever, it's our money. I guess I get. I still don't get my $5 back. Oh, my God. It's your, no, you don't get your $5 back. <laughs> you anyways. Back. Anyways. So... Yeah, it was just a horrible, long experience. Luckily, Liam was asleep the whole time. Otherwise, he probably would have gone apeshit, too. He does not like being stuck in a car like that. Especially if he's just sitting there in his car seat. No, he would not have liked it. That would have been pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. Then I would have fucking became the Hulk. Then I think I would have lost it. So, that was our trip. And now we're home, safe and sound, in the United States. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. I'm going to still try to smuggle a kid. I'm going to help her. No, she's not. <laughs> Border Patrol, if you're my, if you're watching this, she is not. Actually, if you're watching this, she's on her own. She's on her own. I wish I could. I she's adopt. on her own. I probably adopt all of She's on her own. I do not. I am not affiliated with this criminal. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Lesbian fam. We hope you guys enjoyed the video. And please make sure to like it, comment, and subscribe. Share with everybody, guys. Love you.